Hello, hello everyone. How you guys doing today? What's up? I'm Red and welcome back to a new episode of the Iron Man profile. Today we've got the Great Spook back, so we're going to be grinding a bunch of that, just grinding a bunch of bestiary stuff. And also I dropped something in dungeons, which I kind of have to show you. So I hope you enjoy and let's just get straight into it, shall we? Okay, so right now, as you can see, I am wearing a very funny armor. I really don't like this armor, actually. It looks so ugly. But basically, since it's Halloween time, uh, they brought back the Great Spook event. And I am in the deep caverns right now, grinding bestiary. And uh, every couple of kills, or every like minute or so, I will spawn a fear. And from those fears, we get dark candy. And the dark candy is used in a little shop at the hub. And they actually added a new thing this year, which is Siphon 5. It's a new, like, max tier enchantment. And I want to get six of them. I know six might be a lot. Um, I'm thinking, like, long term as well. Like, I want to put it on my blaze daggers whenever I craft them. I want to get one for Daedalus Axe. One for Claymore. Uh, maybe Adam Split Katana, maybe Axe of the Shredded. I don't know. I just want to have a couple extra ones. There's a fear spawning right now. Uh, but basically this event was around last year already. You just go kill this and then it gives you like a little task. So this one just teleports around and you just need to hit him. Then you've got the math one. I'm, I'm sure you've seen it if you play Skyblock. So I'm not really gonna explain it too much. But the reason also why I'm in the deep caverns is right here in the chat. I am grinding some bestiary milestones while, while this is around because... I don't know, it's kind of pointless to just sit in hub and kill zombies because I already have that bestiary maxed. So I'm just going around killing pigmen right now um, because that's the next bestiary that I need here. I've got the creepers, I've got the lapis zombies. So I'm doing redstone pigmen now, then I'm going to go slimes and then these two as well. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of flaming swords and also EXP share core. Right now I have one of them from like today's grind and I want to see how many I can get. Um... While I max this bestiary out, I still have to go over like 3,000 kills, I'm pretty sure. So it's going to take a while, but we need a bunch of candy. I need 1,200 dark candies. And right now, if we check, I am at 286. So I'm just over one sixth of the way there, which means that we've got a long way to go. We got to kill a lot of these still, and I'm probably going to be here for the next couple of hours. I won't be showing it because, like I said, it's kind of boring. It's just the same thing over and over again, doing this little challenge and then getting two candies per um, fear. It's, it's pretty bad, but we have to do it because we want the enchantment. As for all the other things in the store, I already have all of them because I did the Great Spook last year. I grinded the Mythic Black Cat. I grind grinded all the pumpkins. Um, and everything else that, that was in the store, like the tally and everything. So, yeah, the only thing I want to get is the Siphon 5 picks. So that is now Max Redstone Pigment Bestiary. Now time to move on to the slime one. I'm about 89% already there, so not too bad. In the time that I maxed the bestiary out, I also got two EXP share cores, and as you saw, I got an auto recombed flaming sword, which I will put in the museum. As for the candies, I got, um, let's have a look, 374, so I got about like 100 of them, which is not bad. I'm really not looking forward to the bestiary that comes after the slimes, which is the miner zombies and skeletons. That one's gonna take forever, I think. But for now, I'm just gonna go and kill these slimes. It should be very, very fast because, again, I don't have many left to go. So there we go, that is the slime bestiary max now. Uh, I am already killing the minor zombies and skeletons. And uh, let's see how much we get here. I got one EXP share core from killing the slimes, so not too bad. And uh, yeah. I'll be here for the next couple of hours probably because this bestiary is very slow. So wish me luck.
There we go, that is now Max Bestiary. I just maxed out the skeletons and oh my god, this took so long, it's unreal. But there we go, we have everything maxed in deep caverns now, so GG. During this time when I was doing the minor skeletons and zombies, I dropped three EXP share cores, making it six in total. Um, I'm pretty sure I dropped like two extra ones, uh, like when I previously grinded the bestiary, so... I dropped, I think, 8 or 9 in total, but 6 from, like, this current grind. Got the auto recon flaming sword and the minor chest plate as well. I didn't get a clip of this, sadly, because I missed it. So, yeah, not too bad. And in terms of candy, I am currently at 585 dark candy. And I'm not gonna lie, it's going up so slowly. I don't know if I can get 6 books like I thought I would. Um, it's, yeah, it's very boring. I do want to grind some more bestiary though, and I think what I'm gonna do is either go and do like some of the goblin ones or the treasure hoarders, or I'm gonna go and do sludge. Sludge is like quite an easy one. I'd, I would say if you get like the the good structure and then you just kill um, sludges there for a little while, I think that shouldn't take too long. So I think I might do that one, um, but yeah. At least Deep Caverns just is done now, and uh, I can move on to the next one. So yeah, I actually ended up grinding just a bunch of different bestiaries and even after all of that, I am still nowhere near the candy that I actually need. If we look in my sack right now, I am at 878 candy out of the 1.2k that I actually wanted to go for, which equals to 4 books. So I can buy 4 of them and uh, I wanted to get 6 of them. Honestly, this event is so slow, so boring. I've spent so many hours trying to grind it and I just don't want to do it anymore. I want to grind something else. I feel like I'm wasting so much time trying to get these candies because you literally get only two dark candies per kill. So like every minute or so, I get two candies and it's just, it's not worth it. It really isn't, and I'm sure the Great Spook is gonna come back next year, so for now, I'm just gonna settle with four books. So now, if we go ahead and actually talk to this uh, tombstone, whatever, it should open the store for us, and we can go ahead and buy Siphon 5. There it is. Oh my god, it also costs almost 10 million coins to buy. So let's go ahead and buy four books, shall we? One, two, three and four and there we go that is all of my dark candy spent now i'm gonna keep the 78 for next year i guess i'm probably still gonna like spawn a couple of fears every now and then and probably get some more but i don't think i'll grind enough for another book i'm gonna be saving two of these books for my blaze daggers which i haven't even crafted yet so for now they're just gonna go in my vault uh, i'm gonna just chuck them in here with the rest of the enchantments also, I just leaked something <laughs> by accident, which I will show you in a minute. And then I'm gonna save one more for either Adam Split Katana or Claymore, but Claymore is like way in the future, so I think the Great Spook is probably gonna come back by the time I actually get a Claymore. But I'm just gonna keep one extra one here for whatever weapon I decide to put it on. And then this one is gonna go on my Daedalus Axe. There we go, so if we go into the Anvil... We can now apply Siphon 5 to the Daedalus Axe, slowly stacking up the Rainbow Enchants. I still have that Lux 7 book that I want to put on here, and Scorpius is coming up, which is going to mean that I can buy Sharpness 7, I can get Giant Killer 7, so we need to grind a lot of money actually. But for now, let's just apply this. There we go. Beautiful. So yeah, for this year, I am done with the Great Spook event. I won't touch it anymore. 
But just before the Great Spook event released, there was actually an update to the museum. And I went ahead and already claimed all of my museum rewards. As you can see here, we unlocked the hex again. And I have 14 total museum milestones right now. And they don't give XP anymore. Now when you donate items, you get the XP straight away. As you can see here, they added a bunch of new stuff here that I still need to donate. But we won't talk about that right now. What I want to talk about is the 1% bits multiplier which applies to all the cookies that you've already eaten on the profile. And if we look in my tab menu, you can see that I have over eight months of cookie buff and I have eaten so many cookies on this profile already as it is that I ended up getting over 260,000 bits from just this one update. As you can see, I currently have 128,000 bits in my purse and then i also have 155,000 bits still available that like have to come through still and i need to gain them which is absolutely insane and i don't really know what to do with all these bits now i have actually been grinding some floor 7 again i did about 30 runs during paul which was a couple of days ago and this is also what i leaked earlier in my vault i don't know if you guys saw it or no but i dropped something and uh, here's a clip of that oh <gasps> what no, no what? i'm so sorry oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry <laughs> Oh my oh. god, that's my third wither shield. So yeah, I dropped my third wither shield. Obviously, I have applied one already onto my hype. I have wither impact ability on this, so that means all three scrolls. And then I already have all three scrolls to, for the second time, and now even for the third time. At least for the wither shield anyway. I'm still missing the other two. But... If we get back to the point that I was making, I don't know what to make or what to use the bits on. So I'm thinking of maybe re-rolling every run now and then in floor 7 and just praying that I maybe get a handle. Um, I don't know what else I would use them on. If you have any ideas, let me know. And also, Carnival is back. I need to do that because my shop is pretty, pretty bad. Haven't maxed most of these things yet. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do that sometime soon, but it's just so boring that I really don't want to do it. But yeah, let me know what I should use the bits on. But anyway, I think that is gonna do it for today for this spooky, bestiary, weird grind. I don't know what you want to call it, but yeah, I feel like it wasn't worth it, to be honest, because the book doesn't even do it that much, but... I simp for rainbow enchants, so I will try and get as many as I can, if not all of them. So I had to do it, okay? I don't care how long it took and how much time I wasted on it. I was gonna grind a couple of books no matter what. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing, maybe liking. Don't forget to join Discord down below. And I hope you'll have a good rest of your day, evening, morning, whatever it is. And I will see you in the next one.